Hi everyone. I wanted to personally welcome you to Advanced Pathophysiology. I may be a familiar face to many of you. My name is Susan Kinnear. I will be your facilitator for this course. Currently I'm a, a GI hepatology nurse practitioner in the beautiful city of Charleston, South Carolina. Prior to this role, which I've been in maybe about a year and a half, I was uh, an oncology hematology oncology nurse practitioner in Syracuse, New York for probably about 12, 13 years. Um, trained as a family nurse practitioner. Currently in um, Charleston, South Carolina, I work as a mobile research nurse per diem for Roper Hospitals. They have about 700 beds and basically I go to all areas except the OR recovery room and ER at the three hospitals. Um, including behavioral health. So that keeps me current. Uh, I was born and raised in northern New York, a foot across the Canadian border, uh, where all children are born with ice skates. So that's, uh, if you notice a little bit of an accent, it never quite left. My nursing career, uh, background med surge, critical care, interventional radiology, some OB, some pediatrics, home care, uh, behavioral health. A lot of opportunities because I've always sort of had a second part-time job. Love nursing, never uh, regretted my career choice. Got two children, a daughter here in South Carolina and a grandson that will soon be three. So that was why I moved here. He's my life. While I moved here, my son and um, daughter-in-law up in Albany they announced they have a, we're going to have a baby. So I have a little grandson up in Albany, New York, um, nearly one, and I'll be traveling up there to visit him. Um, let's see, my life, my interests, I love, love, love to travel. I tend to have an inquisitive mind and also a bit adventurous. So those of you that know me know that I like to travel. This summer uh, I went to Alaska for 15 days and that was um, unbelievable. I teach quite a few courses. Um, some of the courses that I currently teach, my core classes are advanced pathophysiology, advanced pharmacology, and advanced physical assessment. And I've taught other courses. I teach some of the capstone uh, projects and also on um, the capstone itself. Um, so with feedback, as I'm teaching multiple courses, right, I try to rotate. But the first time through your week one, I try to get the feedback to you as soon as possible so you can apply the recommendations to the following weeks. Please uh, look for news every week. I'd like you to read the tip sheet. In my course, as an expectation, I want you to upload a profile photo. Now, a lot of you have a profile photo, some of, you, some of you do not. The instructions are there, and you panic. It's like, I don't wanna share my photo. Okay, so don't share, upload an alternate photo, maybe something of interest or whatever. Number one, I wanna know that you know how to use the technology, and number two, we are trying to build community in our discussion rooms. With your post, your weekly post in the discussion forums, your initial thread, you choose a topic, okay? Then you will reply to your peers. Do not, and I emphasize, do not, reply to students only that post the same, on the same topic. Let's say we're doing GI, and then one of the topics is GERD. You post on GERD, you only reply to students that also posted on GERD. Totally unacceptable. It tells me a lot about your motivation, your engagement in the course. This is information you're gonna to need to know and your advanced now graduate students and the expectation is that you'll entertain multiple topics, okay? So that's all I'm gonna say about that. It's a red flag. Okay, with your references, peer reviewed references, use the Aspen Library. I shouldn't be seeing information that our consumers can find on the internet. Peer-reviewed articles, when appropriate, please apply clinical practice guidelines. I'll cue you as far as those go. 
Um, students are concerned in my course about their Turnitin scores. These classes are different than other classes. The content's very factual. It'd be very difficult to have a 20 to 25 percent Turnitin score. So I'm expecting to see Turnitin scores a little higher, especially you're making graphs like of anemia, the different types of anemia. There's no way to rewrite that information. So again, any questions you can ask me. Um, again, your um, graduate students, you're now moving toward more specialized practice. You're no longer a generalist. You're gonna apply evidence-based practice. You're gonna reach beyond what's available to the consumer. And you're gonna scaffold information in the discussion. So if I share something about, let's say, gastric reflux, beyond the common what we know about GERD as an undergraduate student or a consumer. Build on it. And remember, pathophysiology, you need, you need to address exactly what's going on at the cellular or the systems level, okay? So if you need to contact me, probably the best way, email, is susan.kinnear, K-I-N, kin, near. So keep your kin near at uh, aspen.edu. You're also welcome to call me at 315-560-9883. The issue is during the day in my practice setting, there's no cell phone signal, okay? I basically work in a silo. So a couple of times a day, I have to go out and check my phone, all right? Uh, some days, I think I'd be better off with a couple of tin cans but we also have to work within our limitations, right? We're going to have a great eight weeks. Again, I value your um, challenges as adult learners. It wasn't that long ago that I was there myself. Just don't get behind, and I'll see you in the discussion rooms.